What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. You got me, Solomon, here today, and uh, we got Simi in Black Sheep. It's 4.30 in the morning. We're headed out on a road trip, so uh, we'll see you guys on the road. just made it you got a little glimpse of what's here and uh, I'm gonna show you everything in a little bit all right guys so you saw a little glimpse and uh, here we have a race car hauler uh, it's a I don't remember if it's a 78 or 79 but it is an f350 Ranger XLT race car hauler and uh, this thing is pretty freaking cool it's got a 460 it's got air conditioning. It's got a really trick custom interior. Radio works, AC works, everything works. And then back here, it's party time. Race car, it's got cabinets and all the goodies. And it's got really trick graphics. And uh, we're thinking about loading up Black Sheep into the back and uh driving it back we're only what like 200 something miles from home not too far and uh the guy that we bought it from he used it to drive his race car which is in the garage he asked not to really show it um but he said since covid he hasn't driven it so it's been about two years since it's been on the road and he's like maybe you shouldn't load the truck into it right away and just you know drive it since the tires are a little dry rotted and stuff but and, uh, once we hit the road i will uh pick you guys back up All right guys, and we are off. This is actually the first drive since I always pay for things before I buy it. There's no point to test drive it when I get there since I already own it. Here we go, so far so good. Brakes work. made it over here to the first fuel up and uh, I'll let you guys know how much it holds. All right guys, so we just finished fueling up and uh, we're here at the Loves and they've got scales. 
so I figured we should uh, put this thing on the scales and see what she comes in at. So right now, I'm gonna get us navigated over to the scales. I actually put the drone up in the air, so you're gonna see us pull up and I'll let you know what we weigh. Right now, before we do that, drop in the comment section below how much do you think this truck weighs. Alright guys, so just got back off the scales and uh, you have right now put in your last comments what you think it is because it's 11,200 pounds, 4520 on the front, 6680 on the back. So not too bad and then uh, obviously we could load the back down. Uh, right now it's empty, we did not put Simi's unibody in there only because we're like hey let's drive it a little bit, see how we like it and then load it up and uh, one other thing that we forgot was good straps. It came with a couple straps, but it literally only a couple. So we don't want to risk it and we didn't bring any straps. So he is driving the unibody. And for those who've never seen this truck or just want a little look at it, it's a 1961 F100 unibody short bed, big back window that we sat on top of a 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis chassis, which is basically the same thing as a Crown Vic. Nice right there now. You like that? Yes, I damn sure do like it. It's got a TMI bench seat. You can see the original Mercury steering wheel, Dakota gauges, TMI dash cover, and Simi's been daily driving this thing for uh, four or five years now, huh? Now, yeah. It looks bad. Does it sound bad? It run bad? Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. Yes, sir. You know it. Now, if I look at it. Go ahead. Yeah, We're gonna show him this truck and uh, we'll see you guys when we hit the road again. guys it stinks really bad uh, but uh people always ask when you're in Florida do you ever see alligators well sometimes they're literally just in the middle of the highway it's pretty gross to be composed of the alligator right there but that's the Everglades and that's the Everglades so I guess he might have been crossing and unfortunately got caught just thought I'd show you guys I'm gonna get back in the truck and out of here before I throw up guys so we needed to fuel up one more time I am uh, almost on E uh, I'm only 22 miles away from the house so we'll top the tank off and uh, head back to the house all right guys so that just uh, was 13.11 gallons and right there on the screen you guys are gonna see whatever the mileage was from the last stop until right here and uh, now I'll see you guys back on the road.
right guys we made it we're at the shop and uh i'm gonna go unlock everything and i'll pick you guys back up all right guys so we ended up parking it over here which is right beside my shops over there simi actually rented this shop so we parked it in front of his shop for right now uh while this stuff gets cleaned up and we figure out some more space and uh that's the end of this video so if you guys can let me know in the comment section below what you think we should name this thing uh so far my favorite name it would be like ricky bobby because whatever's in there is going to want to go fast um i'm not really sure let me know and if you guys don't already hit the like button if you're not subscribed don't know what you're doing do that and we'll see you in the next video